This time next week, they'll be counting the votes in the biggest set of elections since the last general election. 1,500 councillors on 44 councils in the Anglia region. This is the current map of political control. You can see most are dominated by Conservative blue. A few spots of Labour red on the map in the towns and cities. And only one Liberal Democrat majority council in South Cambridgeshire. We need to make a few adjustments to the map for this election. No voting in South Cambridgeshire or Huntingdonshire. They had their elections last year. And it'll be next year for Northamptonshire. The county council's being scrapped there because of its financial financial problems and all the districts are going to. Two new unitary councils created, North Northamptonshire and West Northamptonshire. They've also had a rejig in Suffolk too. Four councils merged to make two new super councils in West Suffolk and over in East Suffolk. They do have elections there and elsewhere. It's a third of the council up for election in some places, but the whole council in others. Now, these elections were last fought in 2015, at the same time as the general election that David Cameron won for the Tories. So back then, the Conservatives won the lion's share of councillors, 1,300 seats, adding in 156 extra councillors. Labour took more than 200 seats, the Liberal Democrats just over 100, but both those parties lost councillors, an especially bad election for the Lib Dems. The EU referendum, well, that was merely a Tory promise back then, and UKIP was still a force to be reckoned with. They added an extra 19 councillors, bringing their total to 52. But this time around, UKIP are fielding candidates in less than 5% of the council seats. And this is how the votes were shared out last time around. Conservatives on 43%, Labour were on 21%. The Lib Dems did win more seats than UKIP, but UKIP were ahead in terms of the popular vote, 13% against 10%. The Greens on 7% and Independents and others on 6 So where are the places to watch this election? Well, it's where there are slender overall majorities. For the Tories, it's a tight fight in Peterborough. They took control last year, but hold on with the tiniest of margins. And one or two seats either way in places like Rutland, St Albans and well in Hatfield, well, that could leave them hanging in the balance. The ones marked in grey on our map are the hung councils. That's where no one party has an overall majority, sometimes run by a minority council or as a coalition. The Tories are a whisker away from power in Colchester, currently run by an alliance of Labour, Lib Dem and Independents. Milton Keynes, that's also hung, run by a Labour minority. Bedford is also a hung council, but currently with a Liberal Democrat elected mayor, the only elected mayor of a district in this region. That's up for grabs too. So, will voters turn out and cast their ballots? That's the big, big question. Even in good years, less than half the electorate bother to vote in council elections. In some places, turnout can be less than 30%. Will there be a Brexit backlash? There's certainly voter fatigue and general disillusionment with politics. And then looming over the horizon, an election we were never supposed to have. We could be going to the polls in a month's time for a European election. But that's another story for another day.